First, we're going to connect to our Raspberry Pi. You can do it through VNC Viewer. Once you've done this, um, press Control Q to get out of the Magic Mirror screen. We're going to open up a command line and find our PM2 functions, which is our auto booted function. Um, this one's MM, so I'm going to write PM2 stop MM to keep it from auto booting every 10 seconds. Once that's done, we can minimize this and we're going to go to our Google Calendar. So open up Google Chrome, hit those three little dot things and go to calendar. Next, we're going to click on the gear icon and go to settings. Here, we're going to find the calendar we want to sync and scroll down to you see public address in iCal format. And we're going to copy this URL. Next, we're going to go back to our Raspberry Pi and to our files. Um, we're going to go to Magic Mirror File, Config, Config.js. And we're going to scroll down till we see our calendar module. And I'm just going to copy and paste this part of it um, to instead of replacing, I'm just going to add a calendar. So it still has the normal one with all the events, basic holidays and whatnot. Uh, we're going to rename the second one My Calendar, and we're going to replace the URL with this public address iCal format. So come over here and paste that. Uh, and then we're going to save that and exit out of here. Now again, we're going to open up this uh, command line and write PM2 star MM to start up the PM2 auto boot function again. And we should see it boot right up. And now you can see that it is synced with my calendar events. Um, next, I'm going to come over to the Alexa app and go to settings. Once you're here, we're going to scroll down until you see the calendar and we're going to sync our Google um, calendar with Alexa. This way you can add um, events using Alexa and it will show up on the magic mirror. So once you sign in, uh, we're going to press allow, done, uh, we're going to sync everything with it and we're all set. Now let's come over to the mirror and I'll show you testing it. Alexa, add appointment. Got it. What day and time? Tomorrow at noon. And what's the name of the event? Dentist. That's dentist on Wednesday, June 6th at 12 p.m., right? Yes. Okay, I've added that. Now, just as you can add appointments, you can also delete them. Alexa. Remove event tomorrow. Delete dentist at 12 p.m. for tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay, done. Now most of you are going to want to sync your phone calendar with this calendar as well. So we're going to come over to our settings, um, go to calendar, uh, default calendar, and make sure this is the same Gmail account that you're using on the Alexa app. Um, now we're going to come over here and every now every event that I make it's going to be in green, which is our default Gmail calendar. Now on default, the calendar will update every five minutes. We're going to change that to every few seconds. So updates very quickly. So come back over to the Pi, go to our magic mirror, modules, default, and the calendar. Then calendar.js file. Um, here we can go to the fetch interval value. Um, on default, it's for five minutes. We want to change it to two times 1000, which is just um, 2000 milliseconds or two seconds. Uh, save that, exit out, and now it should update every two seconds. So when you add it, it should pretty much immediately show up on your mirror. Now you can see me testing it here with my iPhone. Add going to the movies to my calendar. What date and time is your appointment? In three hours. Your appointment is scheduled for today from 1425 to 1525. Let me know if you want to make any changes. No. That's fine. I'll leave it as it was. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. The calendar module is one of the most important modules of this build in my opinion. And for that reason I felt the need to go over how to sync the Smart Mirror calendar with your calendar on Alexa or Google Home as well as your personal devices like your phone. I use my calendar all the time and it's nice to wake up and see what you have scheduled for the day and the rest of the week. Um, it's also nice to be able to add events using voice commands via Alexa. So let me know what you think in the comments and feel free to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for more tutorials on adding modules to the Smart Mirror in the future.